Okay, hey everybody, how are you? Cool lesson here. I think I'm gonna make this do on Friday. This is how to draw Egyptian style, okay? I'm gonna do this to try to keep it again fast like I always do, seven minutes or so. So watch this. We're gonna draw this god Anubis. Now Egyptians always drew people walking sideways. Check this out, here is your first shape. Two symmetrical shapes. What this is, is the shoulders and the waist. And now watch, you just draw the same shape again. But opposite. A lot of students tell me this looks like an hourglass or something, you know, an old fashioned time clock. So this is the kilt. Men did not wear pants in ancient Egypt. They, that wasn't their style, it was very hot there. They just wore like a kilt. So you have your chest, and your pants. Now watch this, you follow this down from the kilt, follow that line, and you make a foot. In ancient Egyptian art, the feet are always drawn sideways. All right, and they also make the feet very long. If you take a look at it, I'm gonna put samples up. Second foot, watch this, you follow this angle. All right. Make the foot a little extra long and then come up. It means he's walking that way. They're trying to show motion, okay? Now we're gonna draw an arm coming down from the shoulder. Down and over, okay? Then you make it, the bicep should be fatter and the forearm should be a little thinner. The hand is gonna be holding something very tricky. So you draw an oval here. Put a thumb up here. Three lines gives you four fingers. Okay, he's gonna be holding this thing. What the heck is this? This is, looks like an oval or a loop with a letter T underneath. Ancient Egyptian word for life. It's called an ankh. Please draw this in your drawing. It's practice. It's also a word. It's, like a Chinese character, it means life. Because that's a picture of Osiris himself. That's his head and his arms and his legs. The god of the underworld. So we're gonna be holding that in our hand. Because it's the key to paradise. It actually opens a, a door, okay? Back arm comes down, out and down. Out and down. This hand's a little trickier, check this out, but it's fun. You draw your, hand, your thumb like this, and the hand is just a rectangle. Two, three lines again, okay? Your belt, they usually have two belts, and it gets narrower, it's like this. They're at an angle, all right? They always have this kind of style on their kilt that has two colors. You go from this point to this point with a curve, whoa. And then we draw some diagonal lines on the back part of the kilt to show texture. I'm guessing this was finer fabric and this might have been some coarse fabric. Coarse as in rough, okay? It's plainer. Okay, now, it's easy to draw the chest plate like a suit of armor. You go from armpit to armpit, okay? And that was made out of bronze scales for like battle, all right? Because these guys are warriors. All right, so now we are up to, oh, I almost forgot. Gotta have some straps for the chest plate, okay? Now check this out. We're gonna draw a semicircle right in the middle. Fancy necklace. I'm gonna draw at least five of these. One, two, three. Four. All right, on this one I can only fit four. Now I'm gonna make Anubis's head. This is Anubis over here. He is a kind of a dog called a jackal. He was the messenger of the gods. He guided you to the afterlife to be judged. His head might look complicated, but watch as we go back over here. We're gonna start with what I call an ice cream cone shape. 
circle, ice cream cone, right? Now, dog's snout of a jackal should get smaller, almost like a triangle, but don't close it or it'll look like a bird, and then cut it backwards. See what I did? I chopped it. Oh, just like that, yep. Now I'm gonna show you what not to do. If you make that head, so here's your ice cream cone. If you make the, the nose of it get wider, it's gonna look like a duck. We don't want a duck, all right? Draw a long mouth, diagonal line. Classic Egyptian eye from the front with a little fish tail on the back. Eyebrow, okay? The first year is always a perfect triangle, always. The second year is rounded at the back, always. Okay, for about 3,000 years. Then he has a headdress. I believe it's called the Nimes, I believe. And then, so you can see it, a piece of it hangs down the front. That should overlap. If I had a, was doing this in pencil, I would erase it. And then a piece of it hangs around the front. Okay. I believe it's called this. A Nimes. Okay. That classic headdress that you see Egyptians wearing. Okay, now you can go back and draw the ground in there. I don't like to draw the ground first because you never know how long the legs are going to be. Okay. Now in Egyptian art, they always drew the faces from the side. Profile view, side view of the face. So you only get one eye, right? They always drew the chest from the front and the legs from the side. For thousands of years, they made art this way. Oh, almost forgot. Couple of, you have an arm bracelet, wrist bracelets. Okay. And if we look over here, this kind of shows you how to color it in. This is like half finished. Okay, I'll put up some still shots of fully colored, fully finished ones. Thank you guys. How to draw like an Egyptian.